hello welcome back we are preparing our benchmark script and so far we have script for browse books for quiz attempts for assignment attempts and in this video we are going to discuss how to create a, a script for discussion notice in discussion this is what we're going to do we are going to a going to we are going to a course and in that course we will see a discussion forum and we go to that discussion forum and then there will be multiple topics for that discussion forum we will choose a topic and then we will browse we will read the content of that topic so this is the flow so let me show you how we are going to do it so I logged in as student 1 so let me go to course 98 then if you see there is something called news forum and if you click on that you will see that there are multiple topics here right and then I'm going to choose randomly a topic and then read okay notice that I am not going to do any reply or anything and there is a reason behind why I didn't do that the reason is that if we want to reply something then it will generate an email this is what is the functionality of the Moodle and then that email is going to be sent to the email IDs so essentially when we are going to run this test okay then with with say 100 users 200 users it's going to generate enough mail and I'm going to spam a lot of mail account so that is a reason that why I'm not really testing the replying of the thread and we you can always argue that this is may not be a realistic case but given the situation okay given the situation that I don't want to mess up with my email box and all those things and that is the reason that I am not going to do any reply but if you look at the database point of view whenever we're replying we are doing an insert to some table however we can do a lot of this kind of insert activities through other services like that's what we are going to do in the next video when we are going to look at the glossary okay so therefore what I'm my suggestion is that you should not be overly worried that we are not doing a reply here but the goal here is to see how the discussion services scale whenever we have a load on it okay so therefore I still think that this this process of you know browsing to a course browsing to a discussion browsing to a topic and reading that content of topic to, to certain extent test the functionalities okay so having said that so let's try to code this thing using view gen so if you look like you now we have so if you look we can divide the script into multiple part the first part is get a course ID then once you get the course ID then we get the forum ID okay what is the forum that the you know what is the forum that the that what is the forum ID that is there in that course okay. once you get the forum ID get the topic ID right because one forum may have multiple topics say for example in this case right in this case we have at least 10 topics okay so we have 10 topics here okay so therefore we have to find the topic ID once we get into the forum ID then we have to browse and read topic okay read topic so for this course ID we have already a function called get course ID so let's use that and for the forum ID let's create a function and uh, so let's create a new function and let's call that function is get forum ID and for topic ID let's create a new function called get topic ID and for read the topic let's call read topic okay so basically this discussion script right so discussion script can be modularized into four parts one is to course ID second one forum ID third one is topic ID fourth one is read topics so you know basically what you can do you can do a default recording using view gen and once you get the default script then you can modify it so what I have done I've already created a script okay so let's do a code walkthrough okay so the, so the first thing that I'm calling is get course ID function right all right and 
and after this function got executed we are going to have a parameter and that parameter is course id and if i use that parameter course id then i can get here the value of that course id like say 120 25 or whatever okay and then whenever we are going to calling this url we are going to go to the course landing page and what is the course landing page so this is so this is the course landing page we are going to course id 99 okay so if you look at if you realize that this url right is same as this url okay so that means this thing is going to give me a, a so basically this you know whenever i'm going to call this api in viewgen it is going to give me this page and in this page you notice that there is something called news forum and if you notice that news forum then we need to get what is the forum id to get the forum id again you can use the correlation technique that you learned a lot of time before and you can keep a left boundary as this right boundary as code then you capture this number 229 notice that is only one time this is available so therefore i make this function with ordinal as one okay so by the time we execute this thing we'll have something there is a parameter ready called lr forum id and in that lr forum id i should have 229 okay if i go to this course if i go to another course then me something else okay so whatever the way it is going to have lr forum id parameter initialized all right and then to click on lr forum id so, so to click on the news forum we have to call this url notice that this is what exactly we are doing okay here in the get topic id in the get topic id using the forum id whatever we got in the previous step let's go to that forum and if you go to that forum you notice there are multiple topics okay so this topic id is 35 this is 34 and so on what i need to know i need to know exactly the topic id randomly from these topics again use the correlation and and the same way that you got the course id you can get the topic id here so i'm not going to really you know, explain it again but the same thing same concept of getting the course id quiz id assignment id uh, the same concept okay and with this after the end of this uh, after the end of this line we are going to have randomly a topic chosen from the forum and then that has that that value has been stored in a load runner parameter called topic id okay and the next step is just like you know click on this topic you see that you are going to see the content and the content is something like this so therefore if you click on read topic what i'm going to do i'm going to pass the topic id that i've got in the last step and with this url i'm going to browse to the topic and see the content okay so this is this is ab all about the discussion a script okay and these are the functions i call and i'm going to measure the time it takes to do this thing so therefore i wrap it so therefore i have i have put lr start transaction and lr end transaction okay thanks